Hey guys, Zuljan here. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. So, we already know that that is the way that the monsters spawn. And I really didn't take a whole lot of time to lay down the town yet. Because we might have to do a little bit of stuff first. What I'd like to do is implement most of these bricks or some sort of bricks as a wall around the town before we really do that much construction because I waited to do that last time and <laughs> it didn't go so well. Also, I was thinking about building on the ground and I don't think it's as deep as the first one was. Look at this. If I can... I don't think it'll show me. Let's see. Alright, yeah. So, well, <laughs> as you can see right there, that's bedrock, y'all. Like, I can't go any lower than that. I'm gonna go ahead and aim down. You hear that? That means I can't go any further down there. So, it doesn't look like I'll be able to do the um, the underground deal, but I'll have some fun on top. With all this brick, is if we can get stuff again with the forge, I think I'm gonna try to go for like a fortress, like a castle or something like that. I think it'll be kind of cool. Anyway, we gotta explore. I'll be, I killed a lot of bunnies and uh, I still didn't find anything, uh, but there are a couple of recipes that I know. I, I need some food before I go. Because we're looking for fur. So bunnies don't drop fur. Well, uh, at least not all of the ones I killed. I must have killed like 20 of those things before I started recording. Alright, so there is something that we can produce though. We can make stone sword. And that is going to be a lot better than the club. And... Unfortunately, we can't make any of the leather armor. We need ingots for all this stuff and fur, of course, cloth. There's a few things that we need, but I did make a couple of extra uh, of the the giant mallets. And uh, it looks like from here, that really the only thing that we need to worry about is the wash tubs and the towel rail. The wash tubs are relatively easy to make, and we can make cord, so that's no problem. Um, so I guess we got to go out and explore, so let's do that. Let's equip the um, the stone sword first. So I'm going to remove the club, and we should have plenty with the stone sword. It should be a lot better than what we were using before. Let's see if we can one-shot these guys. Let's see. Yes, one-shotting them. That is really, really good, <laughs> because with the club we were using two and three hits. Now I see some torchlight over there. Last time we went back behind that gate, and I think that was a different area altogether. I see some ruby over there. I don't know if I can cross. It doesn't look like I can get to that very easily. Oh, look! That was a hammer hood I just saw. And those guys dropped fur. All right, let's go hunting. <gasps> there he is. There he is. Hey, buddy. Give me your fur. You didn't give me the fur. Yeah, you did! Yes, you did! You little rascal. Alright, I need to get um, this stuff for cord. Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was really, really easy. Also, we're going to need to eat something really soon here. It looks like we're starving. We're going to start taking damage. I did form quite a bit of, uh, of white flowers so that I can start getting some healing cream going. A good healing cool whip, baby. Alright, let's see. Oh, also, I put my storage in a chest. I guess you saw that already, though. Okay, let's make the towel rail. And it is turning night as well. Um, let's make some cord. Uh, cord? Yes. And let's make the... Uh, what do you call those things? Yes. Um, wash tubs. I think we need two. That's good. All right, let's. We'll sleep and then we'll put them in. And I know I'm still starving. But I put a uh, a straw mat down here. We'll see about food soon enough. All right, let's go quickly. Get our food situation undone before we kill ourselves. Let's see what we can make here. We have the option to make... I don't know if there's anything that we can make. Um, bonfire won't allow us to cook. 
really. We don't have a bonfire available. I mean, a cook fire available. Why? Uh, light sources, building materials. Hold on, we have to have a cook fire. Yeah, cook fire. And all we need is sandgrass, broken branches, bonfire. Okay, um, we need to get a couple of branches really quickly, which is no problem. And some grass, yeah, we got that, okay. It's all gonna kinda be in the same area here for now. Okay, let's make a bonfire and then let's make a cook fire. There we go. And cook fire. Und cook fire. <laughs> Sounds kind of German when you say it like that, huh? All right. Bam. We can eat now. We can cook our rabbit steaks and fried, oh, coddled eggs. We need hot water for that. Oh, let's do that. Um, and monster eggs, we already got that. I thought we had, oh, I know, we can make our bucket. Oh, you could get squid over here, too. Uh, unicorn steaks need coal, which we have not found yet. Oh, hold on. There's complications here. Okay, so how do we make the bucket? The bucket needs cord and broken branches. More broken branches, seriously? I'm going to starve to death, game, if you don't hurry up. All right. Let me thin. I'm hungry. My stomach's hurting. All right, bucket. Nice, okay, so we use the bucket to grab the hot water. It's such a system, man. There we go, we might as well make a few of them here. I think we got a few monster eggs. We might have to hunt a little bit at night to get some. The ghosts give monster eggs really, really often. All right, cook fire, coddled egg, baby. Uh, that is a poached egg in warm water. It fills hunger meter by 30%, whereas the regular fried egg is only 20. That's awesome. Can we do another one? No, we only had one monster egg. All right, let's eat the, the coddled egg. Ah, that's better than nothing. Okay, what else can we do here? Um, unicorn steaks require coal. I think we're just gonna have to go with it, guys, because we don't have a fishing pole yet. Uh, we can make a fishing pole, but we need... Prickly peaches, which we haven't found yet. So let's just use the little bit of hunger that we do currently have um, to see what the next quest is. <laughs> All right. Wash tub. Wash tub. I'll put one right here and right there. Right here and right there. And the towel rack. I'll put it on the brick. There we go. Uh, okay, how many towel racks do we need? Uh, two wash tubs, one each, and three towel rails. Oh man, three whole towel rails? Why you gotta be so particular, man? Are we gonna need, we need more fur. Dang! All right, well at least we made some progress. That's pretty good. Only eight minutes into the video. We got time. Uh, and it's probably going to turn night, which will give us some more food. That's okay. But food's important. And I felt like that was a little struggle to get to get our nutrition on, you know? Uh, okay. It'll probably be easiest to do that. There we go. Oh, what is all this over here? This is a spot for another flag? It kind of looks like it, huh? There's some pillars and stuff here too, though. All right. Let's try out our new stone sword again. More fur, thanks. Ouch. I tried to dodge that, believe it or not. More fur. We need a lot more fur, and we also need sticks before we leave, too. Alright, we got a few more furs, that's good. Gimme them sticks. Who knew? Like, we are like the MacGyver of the, um, of the Dragon Quest world, man. Oh, there's a big one. Wait, wait, let's talk about this. Leather sack. I have no idea what we can do with that. Ouch. But it's definitely worth it. Let's grab these broken branches right here. Oh, 
Alright, we should have plenty of fur now. Plenty, plenty, plenty. I shouldn't uh, jump that high either. It's gonna hurt me. Okay, so just a couple more towel racks, and I have no idea what to do with this. Leather sack, we can just place it. I guess it's just decor? That's okay with me too. Let's just place it right here. Right here, I said. Yep, it's just decor. It probably adds some points. Um, but we gotta put it in rooms first. Okay, towel racks. Two more, huh? All right, we have all the towel racks you need now. We'll put them all along the back wall right here. Builds the first call public baths. All right. Come on in. Tell me how beautiful it is. Oh, wow. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> <laughs> what? Gore blimey, what kind of word is that? <laughs> now, that's what I, I call a hot bath. You might be a scrawny little pipsqueak, Zuljan, but stone me if you want, you got taste. At least he didn't call me potato face. These baths ain't no ordinary baths, you know. They're the symbol of our ideout? Maybe he's talking about, or oh, our hideout uh, of call. If Barbella and the boys saw him at, in that state, it'd break their poor little hearts. This why I got to fix them up for me, see? Told you I had a good reason, didn't I? We still ain't seen Barbella. All right, all right, keep your air on. If you're, if you're that desperate to know what's going on here, I'll tell you all about it. Before you rocked up with that funny flag of yours, this town was a secret base of Barbella's irregulars. We used it to fight back against the Dragon Lord's army. But then, just before you arrived, the monsters stormed the place and smashed it up to pieces. Me and the boys got split up and Borbella got taken away by the monsters. Ah, now you telling us. I was laying around here and when I saw a funny light shine about a place, so I came back to see what was going on here and that's when... And that's how they say is that. But anyway, thanks for sorting out the bad soldier. Uh, at a nice it soak, just what I needed to get myself back in fighting form. I'm gonna warm my aching muscles and I think up a way to rescue my mates and get this place back on its feet again. You sure do take a lot of baths, dude. Uh, have yourself a dip, why don't you? If you're gonna be a builder, you gotta look after your body. <laughs> well, thank you for caring so much. All right, and there's gonna be monsters to fight here, which I should be okay to do that. Gorblami, love a duck and stone the crows. We're in some seriously hot water here, Zuljin. How would you love a duck? <laughs> uh, I, I ain't talking about the bats, neither. The monsters are coming. The monsters are coming. What do you mean they don't usually come this soon? There's nothing usual about them. <laughs> the monsters around these parts don't do things uh, by abs, I guess. The minute <laughs> you let your guard down, they're on you like a rash. Leave them to you? But Zuljin, you're just a skinny little shrimp. Are you sure about this? All right, then I'm counting on you, Zuljin. Are you ready to give those rot monsters a, raw, a right royal walloping? Yes. Gorblami, if you ain't all brave and half bag of bones, I'll never forget you, Zuljin. He thinks I'm gonna die. We'll see what kind of monsters there are. I'm sure it's gonna be like bunnies and stuff. All right, they should be coming from this area. Brownies? Oh no, they're coming from the other way, huh? More brownies. Alright. So far, so good. They're just breaking up a little bit of dirt. The leader of the monsters appear. And that is a knight, which I've already destroyed. Plus, we got a much better, um... Oh, we got a much better, uh, sword this time. We fought that thing with the club last time. No, don't you charge me, sucker. Come back over here. Come back over here. Got him. Nothing to it but do it. Uh, he dropped a healing cream too. That's nice to know. Okay, and we got our first seed of life. Which is awesome. <laughs> He's so proud. 
Gordon Bennett with bells on switch and what was that flipping fantastic? You only went and wiped the floor with them, the, all them horrible monsters. You know what mate? I think that might be the legendary bodybuilder after all. Even if you could do with being a bit less bony. <laughs> hey, you ain't the bodybuilder, you're just the builder? <laughs> alright, alright, don't get your knickers in a twist. So, you're the builder, are you? Does that mean you're gonna stick around and help us build the base again? Help us fight back against the monsters? <laughs> Thank you, Zuljin. Truth is, I was so lonely all on my own, I don't know what I was gonna do. But now you're here, we can get cracking. First things first, the monsters put up a barricade off to the south to cut this base off from the rest of the island. Long as that gate's still standing, we'll never be able to get Barbella and the boys back here in one piece. If you want to open up the path to the south again, the barricade's gotta go. That's where you come in, Zuljin. I want you to go down there, smash open the gate, and give the wrong uh, ungardened a taste of its own medicine. We already destroyed him, I think. Core blimey, with a plum berry on top. You've only gone and blown the bloomin' barricade down. <laughs> we already did that. Last last episode when we were looking around. I knew you could do it, mate. You might be a skinny little sausage, but you break down barriers like a champ. <laughs> Man. This is it, Zuljin. The fight back has begun. But there's two things you've got to take care of before we can really start showing the monsters who's boss. First, we've got to round up all the lads again and bring them back to our base. Then we've got to go and spring Barbella out of the monsters lockup. Soon as we've got the gang back together, it'll be time to take on the Mag Malice, the big boss of the monsters who's got the whole who's got the whole of Call under his thumb. Take old flame fingers out and we'll have won the war. Oh, flame fingers, I got you. Uh, the monsters around these parts, he talks so crazy. The monsters around these parts are tough as old pair of pants. But with your help, I reckon we can knock them some sense into them. You might only be a twiggy little thing with biceps like knotted string, but I'm counting on you, Zuljin. Wow, what a mouthful, man. <laughs> Narrating what this guy says is hardcore. Alright, Zuljin, now that we've punched a hole in the barricade, we can get on with the next part of the plan. Uh, what do you fancy heading down into monster infested territory and rescuing my mates? I've picked up a distress signal on my picks with lads or some south of the barrier and they're in a bit of bother. I ain't just <laughs> them, it ain't just them I'm worried about. We're gonna need all the help we can get to spring Barbella out the nick. It's about time we got the boys back together and shoved those monsters who are messing who showed the monsters who were messing with. Go on, Zuljin. Get yourself south of the barricade and save the lads. Oh, boy. If my friends are so important to me, I should come with you? I can't. If I'm away from the hideout for five minutes, they break, I break out in a rash. No joke or lie. I'd love to come with you, really. But you'll have to take care of this one on your own. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what you glaring at me like that for? It's the truth. I ain't scared of the monsters. It's that what you're th if that's what you're thinking. Look, we ain't got time for this. Just get yourself through the barricade and back with my mates. A new quest marker appeared on the compass. All right. Wow, man. He is a piece of work, isn't he? Let's put back some of this stuff before we head out. All right. Um, oh, this is not what I want. I need to put stuff back. Also, I need food, man. Uh, we're gonna take that with us. Yeah, I don't think I have any food whatsoever. Uh, I do have a few things I can cook, but that's gonna be with coal. So hopefully we actually find some because we're gonna start taking damage relatively soon. Also, speaking of damage, let's just sleep before we get go because you know it's gonna turn night as soon as we head out. It always does. Always, always, always. All right, let's go. Let's go. I wonder if the healing, the water heals me. It kind of was. It kind of acted like it. Well, he may have been doing stuff, making little magical things. Excuse me, bunny. One shot. All right, let's see what else we got here. We got scorpions, blue slimes, cactuses. Cactuses, I think. 
first cactus cutlet. I think we can make something with these too, but it didn't, it doesn't exactly tell me, does it? Wow, that was close. All right. They got, is that a bigger version of Bunny? Yeah, it is. I wonder if they drop anything. Oh, a hair lion steak. All right, I gotta get, oh, guess what we can make with that? Fishing pole, well, we're gonna need that bad. Cause we're already like, we already need some food big time. So let's get a few of these. We can make a fishing pole with them. Then we'll be able to get some fish to cook. Also, we can eat some of them too. I think that's the only ones around that were like that. Let's quickly go and do that, y'all. Because I don't want to starve. We can explore much further out once we have our sustenance taken care of. All right. I love the music so much, man. The music's so good in every scenario. All right, let's make a fishing pole. Or a fishing rod. There we go. And uh, let's fish really quick. I wonder, we should probably just go right there and catch some. Can I just eat these right off? Yeah, I can. 10%. Not much, but it'll stop me from taking damage. I'm sure the barbecue grill is going to open up a lot of stuff for us, too. Give me something to eat. Broken branch. Now, that isn't too tasty, is it? Uh, welly. I don't need one of those either. Oh my gosh. I wonder if it's only... Didn't it say that I had a recipe for like squid or something? Maybe this is all you can catch. One more cast. We might just have to use the prickly pears as sustenance. Alright, apparently this is not a good spot to catch fish. Alright, let's eat one more prickly peach. I didn't say I had a new recipe when I got it, though. Also, let me go ahead and use a healing cream now. Alright, there is a place on this side that had some water too. Hopefully that bunny doesn't see me, or that bunny lion. Suljin's catch gets away. It is a new body of water, so. All right, architects exposed. Hold on, let's talk about this, bunny. Ouch. All right, I got another one of them stakes. Uh, architects exposed, what is this? I have no idea. Is it a book? I guess it is a book. I wonder how much stuff you can get by fishing. Like extra stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to get without fishing. I would love some food. Another architect's exposed. Okay. It's possible that that, ju that pond is just going to give us stuff. We've already seen all those items right here. I wonder if there's a chest up there. I'm gonna have to go for more of these um, prickly peaches too. Ouch. Sucker. First chimera feather, yep. Knew all about it. All right, what is up there? Let's see if I could see from the bird's eye view. Is there a chest there? No, there's some prickly peaches though. It doesn't look like there's anything up there. Maybe it's just decor. I'll see if there's not anything on the sides that I could see that's obvious. 
or coal is another thing I'm looking for. I don't see any coal in there. All right, let's go a little bit further. There's a new, another barricade a little bit further out. There's also a cave right there. Now, maybe just the miner in me, but if I was looking for coal, I would definitely be looking in caves for it. You know? There's some ruby right here too. That ain't gonna hurt. First block of sandstone. Uh-oh. Alright, so get this. I'm going to throw away... That. Uh, no. That. Discord. Alright, now I got ruby. I'll make the decision again if I find coal. Also, what kind of material is that? That's something new. Um, let's get rid of the sawgrass. And let's get rid of the dirt. Alright, just so we have crumbly cobblestone. That's interesting. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of... Um, A whole lot of room to do stuff here. Give me the ruby, man. <laughs> it's hardcore mining in here. Alright, we got a little bit of it. Now, I know there's a... Uh, oh, there's coal right here. I see it. Ouch. Oh my gosh. Clodstone. Eek. There's all kind of stuff around. Help me. I need that coal, man. Alright, there's stuff everywhere, man. They just keep spawning. Alright. Can I mine that coal now? Alright, there's a... Um I'm gonna need to get some more of this stuff, but I'm gonna get rid of it right now. Um, discard. Discard, because I need that coal, man. Give me the coal. There we go. First lump of coal. Give me more coal. Oh, I keep going further down and I don't mean to. Alright, now I can get up here and do a little bit of mine. The problem is the coal is so much stronger than the other stuff that I break it first. Alright, I could possibly get that too. There's so much of it. Alright, let's see if there's any easier coal to get. I could climb up a little bit too. <gasps> there's copper right here too. Dang it! Alright, um... Hold on, let's break some of it first. Oh, do I have another one? Tell me I have another one. Yes, I made another one. I was smart. Okay, so now we just need to get rid of this stuff. We can get rid of the, um the sticks too if we had to but okay we got copper now all is good and I can mine a bunch more of this stuff off cam but this will at least get us into the um, into food and stuff you know there we go alright that's quite a bit of stuff and we could just come back here some of this stuff kind of breaks. Oh, crumbly cobblestone. I guess if you get on top of it, it breaks. Yeah, now I'm seeing it. I didn't even notice that. All right. I miss stuff. <laughs> so obvious sometimes. All right. There's that ogre over there, too. I don't know if we should get close to him. We could probably run away and escape. <gasps> There's some rail tracks right here? I can't afford to pick it up right now. Look at this guy. Can we talk to him? Oh no, he's mad now. 
He's mad. Don't be mad at me. Don't be mad. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight with you. Um. Okay. I know I found a ghost earlier. Or a ghost found me, I should say. I don't have room for monster eggs, though. So I should just... The music gets real deep at night. It reminds me of, um... Like, when you're getting close to the Dragon Warrior... Uh, getting close to the Dragon Lord and Dragon Warrior. The music is the same, but it keeps getting deeper and deeper and deeper. In the NES version, it was so creepy, man. Like, the tone just got lower. Oh, man. We're back. We're back. We're back. And... We can put stuff up now. Holy cow. Let's put all this junk up. We're going to be able to feed ourselves. And... Alright. Cooking fire. Unicorn steaks. We can make it now that we have coal. Let's make as many as we can, which is only three. But that's okay. At least that's good food. Um, squid on a stick and sardine on a stick. We haven't caught any of those yet. And uh, what can we make here? I think we can make... What does the forge need? More stone. So all we have to do is make a few more stone. Ho! Oh! Next episode, we are going to get a forge online, you guys. I just got to go mine a little bit of it. But that's going to be it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgen signing off. And we'll see you next time.